Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. The spoilers for Double Masters 2022 are finally over, and the reprint pain is already setting in. Welcome back, Matt Caster Mage here. I wanted to talk a bit about Double Masters 2022, and I promise I won't talk about it after this. I promise until the set is released, I won't talk about Double Masters 2022. I just wanted to briefly mention that there are a lot of people who are going to feel some pain from the reprints, and especially cards like Imperial Seal. This card, you know, it's basically been a judge promo apart from its original printing in Portal 3 Kingdoms, which is a very, you know, it's a very scarcely printed set. So it is very rare. And the Judge promo itself is also rare because it was only given out to judges, so it was never really, you know, part of any set. So it didn't have any, any mass distribution or any, like, massive reprint, really, until now. You know, we're going to get a, a lot of variations of Imperial Seal. You know, we're going to get the regular copy, like the Showcase and everything else. So it's, it's definitely going to have an impact on the price. Right now, the pre-order price for it is over $300, which I think is uh, really silly. I don't think that price is going to hold at all. I expect it to tank. And I've seen on countless Facebook groups that I'm a part of for Magic the Gathering, like selling, collecting, and just Magic Gathering pages in general on Facebook, that people are really trying to unload their Imperial Seals, their, their Judge promos, especially their Judge promos. I haven't seen a lot listed for the Portal 3 Kingdoms. I think that one will probably hold its price a little better, though it is going to go down in price. And there's examples of that already. Look at Three Wishes, which is a card that came out in the original Commander Legends. That was originally from P3K, you know, and it's definitely hit, you know, uh, a nerve, and it's definitely went down in price. And, you know, it, it's, even though it is Portal 3 Kingdoms and it is scarce, it's still going to have a, an impact on the secondary value. Another example of that would be the Imperial Recruiter. That was another card that was printed, I think, in Masters 25. That was its first reprint, and the price is definitely you know, taking a beating, and then it got reprinted again later on, and yeah, that card has never really recovered. Even the Portal 3 Kingdom version of the card, yes, it has stabilized a bit, but if you look at the original price of that card to now, you're going to see something similar, I think, with Imperial Seal, because it is definitely a card that players want, but you have to remember, this is a sorcery that's essentially, that essentially does the exact same thing as Vampiric Tutor. Now, if you're a player and you like to have a lot of tutors in your deck, yeah, sure, it's, it's going to be a card you definitely want to throw into your deck, but if you compare it to Vampiric Tutor, not as good. Vampiric Tutor is an instant, and this is a sorcery. Instance you can play on your opponent's turns. Sorcery, you have to play it on your turn, making it not as powerful as Vampiric Tutor. So I think that the price of this is going to tank a lot. I, I, I think it's going to get to about the $100 price point, but it maybe it'll stabilize around there, but to be honest... Unless it has the scarcity of a Jeweled Lotus, I think the price is going to go even lower than that. And I think once it, it gets past that $100 breaking point, it could go down to even 50 or more. But these are just predictions. You know, nothing is set in stone. This is just how I feel about cards like this. And this isn't the only reprint that's really going to, you know, shock people when it comes to the value of their collection diminishing. There's going to be other cards there, you know, that haven't seen many reprints, like Smothering Tithe is one that only had its uh, printing in a Ravnica Allegiance set. And obviously that set does have shock land, so it's going to keep the price a little bit stable. But man, like that is Smothering Tithe. Yeah, this card is going to take a beating. I, I expect it to go down to the 20s or even lower, maybe potentially like a $10 card. It is definitely a card that a lot of players want in Commander, but the only real reason why it was so expensive was because it was only printed in one set, and that is the main factor. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to just talk about it briefly and give my two cents on what's going to happen to the secondary market with these reprints, especially cards like Imperial Seal. Anyways, remember to hit that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund, because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. 
If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.